What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing I am really excited about. This is the BlackBerry Bold 9900, the newest flagship from RIM. For those of you that follow me on YouTube or check me out on Twitter at john 4 lakers you'll know that I have been a pretty happy BlackBerry user uh, for the better part of just about three months. So I'm looking forward to replacing my 9780 with this 9900 and putting it through, of course, all its paces. So I'm as excited as you are. I have never held one of these guys before. Let's go ahead and rip it open. This is, of course, a retail purchase unit. It comes from Rogers. It's a Canadian carrier. Uh, this is an unlocked unit. I had our own John Quatch scouring Canada to find one for me, and he sent that along with this little Angry Birds piggy. So, John, thanks to you. Uh, this is, of course, going to be coming to all major U.S. carriers, uh, AT&T and T-Mobile as the 9900, and Verizon and Sprint as the 9930, but it should look pretty close to identical. Obviously, the pack packaging is going to look different on U.S. carriers. You've got some French here you're not going to have, and all kinds of other stuff telling you it's a BlackBerry bolt. Great, let's go ahead and pull off the box. Pretty typical BlackBerry stuff, black box. I think it's been opened so they could unlock it with the tape. Well, maybe not. Nope, tape has been broken. So now the top slides off, or if it pulls open, so it comes off. And boom, there we have the BlackBerry Bold 9900. I'll uh, push it off to the side and I'll run through some specs and see what else you're going to get in the box. It's really stuck in there tight. Well, it's got a pretty nice feel to it. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. It's weird to see a Rogers branding here on the phone. I don't generally review uh, or check out Rogers branded phones. So we are going to get inside of this here box. I'm guessing some user guides and the rest of that business we're never going to look at. User guides, cleaning cloth, and a pair of stereo headphones with, I think, a microphone. Let's take a look. It doesn't look like there even is a microphone on here. Yep, there's a microphone. So you're going to get that. All right, so enough of that box. That's not exciting. Let's power through this stuff pretty quickly. You're going to have a pouch carrying case. So if you want to carry this thing on your belt and look kind of toolish uh, or super professional, depending on what your definition is, you're going to have that option. Here is the battery. We're going to, uh, to need that. Got your wall charger, simple two-prong wall charger, and then your sinking cable. It's micro USB. Blah, blah, blah. Enough of that stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about the phone itself, the 9900. This guy's been rumored for quite a while. A bold touch has been high on everybody's want list that is a BlackBerry fan. Certainly that number is dwindling uh, day by day. So what do we got here with the BlackBerry Bold 9900? We have a bigger 2.8 inch screen. Uh, that is now a touch screen with an improved resolution of 640 by 480. It's now got a pretty modern processor, a relatively modern, at least by RIM standards, a 1.2 gigahertz uh, Qualcomm built Snapdragon chip, 786 megabytes of RAM. You can see the five megapixel camera right there with LED flash, and that can shoot 720p video. That's 1280 by 720. The battery is smaller than expected. It's one of RIM's newer, smaller, thinner batteries. Uh, it is of size 1,230 milliamp hours, so you're keeping track. It's the JM1 battery, uh, which is supposedly going to give you 6.3 hours of talk time and 307 hours of standby time. Uh, it weighs 4.59 ounces, uh, and it's got 8 gigabytes of storage internally and, of course, micro SD. If I pull off the back here, look like this back pops off. There's some tricks hidden under here. That is where the NFC radio lives, and that is near-field communications. Uh, so you're going to uh, have that. Uh, battery will pop right on in. Go ahead and slide the battery on in. It'll actually pop in my SIM card too. Uh, we'll come back in just a moment. All right, so before I pop in the SIM card and make this marriage official, let's take a look at the outgoing model. Here is the BlackBerry Bold 9780. You can definitely see a clear difference here. This sort of harkens back to the original Bold. Uh, it's got a new sort of brushed aluminum strip across the side of it, which is sort of a new thing for BlackBerry. Keyboard here is marketably larger. I believe it's about 6% bigger than even that original bold. Certainly it's marketably larger though than the 9780. Uh, it's got a bit higher quality feel to it. I haven't had tested the keyboard yet. Certainly you can see the keys now are all one color as opposed to the colors that we have here. Larger screen. We stack these little guys on top and make a Blackberry sandwich. You can see the size difference. The 9900 though is the thinnest Blackberry. You can definitely see the thinness there. 
All right, so let's go ahead and pop in a SIM card. I should let you know though, this does not come with a micro SD card in there. So eight gigabytes is what you're gonna get. Uh, that's the internal storage. You can up that certainly to 40 with a 32 gigabyte card or whatever increments of cards you wanna pop on into your Blackberry. Let's go ahead and power this guy on. All right, so I'm about to pop the battery in here and just for fun, I'm gonna put the battery into the 9780 as well. We'll see how both do from a cold boot. Certainly this one's got programs installed on it and they haven't been cleaned and wiped and installed. It's not a scientific test, just if you wanna see how much quicker boot up time is. There's my SIM card, you can see it's actually cut and it's in the housing of a bigger SIM card. So you can actually use the bigger card that you cut out to make a micro SIM as a nice little adapter. Kind of a neat little trick. All right, we'll go ahead and pop this in. We'll do the same here. Pop this in, so a couple seconds behind. Slap the battery doors back on. Here's the, uh, again, the little NFC radio. Kind of ingenious they put it in the battery door. Go ahead and put that back. And attempt to put the battery door on. Which is harder than it looks. Let's see. It is booting up though, so that's a good sign. Come on, battery door. There we go. All right, so that's on. That's booting up. Uh, you can certainly see a difference here uh, between the speed of the two of them. Uh, in the Torch 2 prototype that I took a look at, uh, boot up time was way faster. So certainly the slowness here is gonna be attributed to the app and it's been used before and there's other stuff in the memory. Uh, but clearly you can see a big difference uh, in the speed as this guy uh, boots up. So I'll go ahead and let it continue uh, to do a little bit of a, a boot up thing here. And let's bring in another device to take a look at. Here, bring in another Blackberry. Uh, here is the Torch 1, and go ahead and see what this looks like, the uh, 8900. Pretty similar to the Torch 2, almost identical from a size standpoint. Go ahead and check out the those two next to each other. And it looks like the guy is almost done and booted up. Kind of weird to see a Rogers logo there. Definitely see this is still only a quarter of the way done. So a lot of distance to go. Hopefully if this phone was unlocked, like I was told it will be, uh, we should see AT&T there. And also we see an H+. Uh, this has support for, I believe, the 14 megabits per second HSPA+. Plus. So Pacific Times, where we are, we'll just hit OK. And Time Zone has been updated. So it's unlocked, it's on AT&T's network, and we are ready to go. So it is a touchscreen, which is kind of weird to uh, see and feel here on a BlackBerry. Uh, I'll put it through its paces, do a ton of videos and coverage on it. Anything you guys want to see on the 8900, uh, definitely let me know. First blush is it feels very light. Uh, and has a high quality feel uh, that maybe we haven't seen on Blackberries in quite a while. So I'm excited to give it a whirl. Hopefully I'm not gonna be disappointed. Uh, again, anything you guys wanna know, leave it down in the comments down below. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.